Gaia Pope, who suffers from epilepsy, was last seen in Swanage, Dorset on November 7. A 49-year-old man has been released on police bail a day after being questioned over the disappearance of Gaia Pope as her mother says she is holding out for a miracle. Carpenter Paul Elsie, 49, from Swanage, was taken into custody after driving himself to Poole Police Station on Thursday. His arrest came three days after his mother Rosemary Dyke, 71, and nephew Nathan Elsie, 19, were arrested for the same charge. Despite the arrests, Gaia's mother Natasha has tonight said she is hopeful her daughter is still alive and is calling on the 10,000 followers of the Find Gaia Facebook page to help with the huge search of Swanage tomorrow. In a post on social media, the 53-year-old wrote, I believe in this community and I believe miracles can happen. I am holding on to hope, along with Gaia's sisters and the whole family who are my strength. Please hold on with us. My eternal thanks to everyone who is out there searching for my little girl. Please come out over this weekend and do what you can. Every one of you makes a difference. Holding out for a miracle, Natasha Pope, 53, is calling on volunteers to help in the search to find her daughter. Witch Hunt, Greg Elsie, 69, said his family had been unfairly targeted by police after his son Paul was bailed under investigation on Friday evening. Her comments come as the father of suspect Paul Elsie claims his family have been subjected to a witch hunt by police. Mr Elsie returned to his home in West Wellow, near Rumsey, Hampshire, at 5pm today. He revealed the police had finished searching his ex-wife's property in the Dorset town where Guy was last seen. The 69-year-old said, they released the keys of Rosemary's property at about 2pm. I told them to give the keys to Paul when they let him out. Paul has been released and he is with his solicitor. He has been released under investigation the same as the others. My family has totally been the victim of a witch hunt. They should start looking elsewhere. I think of the public money which has been wasted, which could have been spent searching for Guy and finding those clothes a long time ago. I will tell Paul it is nice to have him home. I don't think there is any problem now with them going home. We will soldier on. It is terrible for Guy's family. I feel dreadfully sorry for them, I really do. I know if I was in their position I would be devastated. At least we knew, our family members, were coming home. Speaking out, Greg Elsie, pictured outside his home in West Wellow, near Rumsey, Hampshire, tonight, said he feels dreadfully sorry for Guy's family. Around 15 minutes later a black Mercedes saloon drove into the home's driveway and parked right outside the front door. A woman then emerged from the house and ushered a man out of the passenger seat, blocking the view of reporters. A smartly dressed man got out of the driver's seat and followed them into the house. The Elsie family did not come to the door when a reporter knocked to ask for further comment. A neighbor subsequently came out from the next door house, saying he had spoken to the family and added, they will not be saying anything further.